transhumanism. At what point does humanity reach the limits of its own potential? We continue to create faster internet speeds, bigger buildings, and smaller phones. But real advancements in humanity have been few and far between for a very long time. Stem cell research and medicine are used more for repair than actual advancement. And so, here humanity sits, stuck at the edge of its own potential. But what if we could jumpstart evolution? What if we could force the next stage in humanity? If we could, if we did, how would we do so? Hi, I'm Nigel. Um, I lost part of my arm in an accident at work a few years ago. Uh, since then I've been fortunate enough to be given one of these to trial. This is the B-Bionic V3. It's a prosthetic hand and it works from sensors on the inside and outside of my arms and muscle control. If I activate this sensor, the hand opens, activate this one, the hand closes. We then move the thumb to this position and we can get a tripod grip. So we're picking what small things up. We can then change the grip again. And this is power grip, this is for heavy things, this is for shaking hands, this is for being human. This man lost his arm in an auto accident, but through the continued advances in bionics, now has a new usable appendage. This is for shaking hands, this is for being human. Replacements like this are often used for when someone loses a piece of themselves in work or combat. But what if these parts, these ones we were born with, were given up? Not because we were injured, but because we desired something new. What if we were giving up our own natural pieces in exchange for mechanized ones? Something stronger, faster, computerized. It's changed my life. It's enabled me to do my craft, to do my one passion in life. Taking pictures is as blinking my eye. You know, now when I take chances, when I take risks, the whole world gets to see what I see. I want it to be better. You know, I want to be best of the best, part of the elite. If I want to be the best, then you know, that's what I got to do. I actually can feel things. You know, you can, you know, I pick up the football, my, my, I can feel the pigskin on my fingers. I play the piano a million times more than I ever played it. It's easier, I'm enjoying it more, and that's why everybody knows me, is for my serif augmentations. Thanks to serif Giving up our hands to better play piano. Giving up our eyes to better show the world what we see. Not through our own natural eyes, but through new computerized lenses. Google is working their way towards this right now, with Google Glasses. Google Glasses hopes to turn the world into a video game, giving your existence a heads-up display, and connecting everything you know to a cloud of information to be shared with everyone you know. Though Google Glasses is not an implant, it is the first step towards connecting everyone in such a way. The real prototype steps towards implants of this kind go to Steve Mann. Steve Mann truly is the first prototype human to step towards transhumanism of this kind. He has been creating and testing ocular implants on himself for years. He is the first step for everyone to be a transhuman like him. For all the changes steps towards transhumanism makes for the individual, it also changes society as a whole. Society is built upon the people that live in it, and it must change and grow with the times. But how would society be shaped in a world where the inhabitants are more than human? What kind of society would we build for ourselves? That a scientist would not be bound by petty morality. I chose to build rapture. Will we build a world like Rapture? A society free to do and study science as it desires. To build and manufacture products as it changes the very DNA of its inhabitants. Products as it allows to jump higher, seduce people, and even change nature to the point of throwing fire, ice, and perhaps even bees. But what happens to a society is it can alter its very core of its DNA. 
People become anyone and anything. They can destroy everything. People will start to lose their minds and themselves. They will destroy their civilization from the inside. We all thought it'd be great to change our bodies, become better, stronger, faster. Let's start with soldiers at first, then it spread to everyone else. It happened too fast. Pretty soon all of Rapture was gene spliced and killing each other. The treatments messed with our minds. People weren't meant to have these powers. Would we instead create a society less based on changing DNA and more focused on being propelled by bionic cybernetic enhancements? A society where the right to bear arms is to literally have the ability to have arms as guns. A place where soldiers are weapons mentally and physically without having to hold a gun, but instead being the gun. A society like this, where everyone can be part computer, part machine. Would we become more than human or less than human? This is a business that's driven by fear. If I don't improve myself, if I don't augment myself, then I'll be less intelligent, less capable, less strong than the rest of the human race. We've been integrating ourselves with technology for decades now, replacing damaged limbs with mechanical limbs, implanting data chips into our bodies, which give away huge amounts of information to governments and corporations all across the globe. At no point have they thought about the consequences of their actions. They actively encourage you to exchange your perfectly functional body parts for upgraded augmentations. What they are doing is ethically and morally wrong. With such changes, with people becoming part machine, how would society react to this change? What will we become? Would we make the right choice and choose a society that truly makes everyone better? Will we see our new world coming and save ourselves before it's too late? Or would we create a society that tears us apart? Or will we see our downfall after it's already come? Transhumanism can be great. Steps in its direction can save lives and save humanity as a whole. But it is a dangerous thing, and it must be handled with care.